Hi there, today I want to talk to you about uh, making a modification to your wagtail tools to solve a common problem that I hear from a lot of window cleaners out there. Uh, I'm talking about like the wagtail whirlwind or the wagtail flipper and when you're doing high windows with uh, you know deep mullions or deep sills where as you're squeezing down the glass once you get down to the bottom this pad that normally is in a drop down position now gets bunched up underneath the blade uh, stopping you from uh, closing out properly at the bottom of the window. So let me just show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so when you're squeezing off the bottom of the window and you get to the edge here and then you want to close off the bottom as you can see the pad is starting to get bunched up underneath the blade. Now normally on a window that I can reach you know by the ground if I'm going to be getting down to the bottom there and I see that the pad is going to bunch up. Usually what I do, I just pull that out like that and it's not a problem. However, what if this window was on the second story or third story? You can't pull that out. So you end up getting a little bit of soap line down at the bottom which looks pretty horrible. So, what do they say? Uh, necessity or uh, whatever is the mother of an in invention. So. I had this idea to make a top over pad. Okay, so what I've done here is I've taken an old uh, Pulex Micro Tiger washer sleeve. This was an 18 inch. And carefully, uh, using a, a sharp utility knife, I cut open the sewn seams and laid it down flat. And I cut the pad to this particular dimensions, which is just a little over 18 inches, about 18 and a quarter. As well, in the middle, I cut out a little bit of a notch, it's about half inch by about uh, I'd say four inches. This is uh, where the pivot mechanism of the wagtail is. And let's see, this way here we've got uh, almost four inches there. And so that's, that's the dimension I cut it to. And now when you flip it over, what I've done is I've had my wife uh, sew on some soft velcro onto the edge. Now anybody with a thread and a needle can also do this but my wife had a good sewing machine so I had her sew it like that and now this pad is going to get attached to the wagtail uh, instead of flipping under it's going to flip over so let's have a look at that. Okay, So here's the modified wagtail now and you see it's, it's held on to the whirlwind by the velcro strip and the pad will flip over what happens is you'll scrub the window like this and when you're done you just flick it back and actually when it's wet it flicks back a little bit more and then you'll squeeze you down the window. So let's have a uh, look at how that's done. Okay. So after scrubbing the window with the pad in the over position now we have to bring the pad to flip backwards and we can just basically thrust the pole up and then pull back a little bit and then it'll just do that. The only problem is, is when you're outside, it's fine. You're gonna flick a little bit water back. Uh, I wouldn't recommend to use a very wet pad on the inside. So anyway, we can start off now. Do our traditional cutting in the top center with a wagtail, and we can now pivot all the way down. Getting those nice edges. And then when it comes down to the final, we can close out nice and tight. Now like I say, this is great for a second story or third story. Uh, you know, doing regular groundwork, I'd still use a traditional wagtail whirlwind pad. Now, another way you can squeeze that window, let's get this scrubbed up again. And the way I've been doing quite a bit, especially for exterior, uh, upper, second story and third story windows, I find that I actually like using this as a straight, uh, straight pulling instead of the uh, the pivot. So I start up at the top corner. I go down, cut across the top, and straight down, and straight down. Get up into the corner, twisting the pole brings that right side down. And there you go. Now. I'm going to do it again a little bit slower. So let's 
put that pad back in that position there. Okay, so let's do this again. We'll flip back, get into the top left corner. The tw slight twisting of the pole, turning your hand to the left, brings the left side of the blade down. You go across the top, twist your hand to the right, pulls the right side down. And you come down, right down to the bottom. A couple taps on the glass to get any debris off. Again, twist the pole a little bit to the right, brings the right side down. Now up to the corner, and just use the top of the frame to get your uh, squeegee blade straight again. Do a couple little pulls to pull any other little bit of water from the top. Twist the pole a little bit, brings that right side down, and there you go. Absolutely no uh, soap line at the top of that frame. So there you go, there's my mod. Uh, the last thing I have to mention about uh, this modification, like I say, it's great for getting right down to the bottom of the sills on second story and third story windows. Uh, depending on how deep the mullion is or how deep the, the sills are, obviously the way I was showing you there, you would need to um, actually have an angle adapter. Uh, you can use the wagtail angle adapter or just about any angle adapter um, from Unger or from Ettore um, to use it just to get over that sills because obviously you can't hold the pole too horizontal when you're, you know, it's two or three stories up. So you're going to need that little extra help there. But otherwise, um, you can see it's pretty versatile and pretty simple to make. I'm pretty sure uh, everybody's got an 18-inch wagtail or a 14-inch wagtail whirlwind out there. It has an old 18-inch or 14-inch scrubber sleeve that you can modify. Anyway, there you go. Good luck, guys. Bye for now.